Michigan Attorney General Frank Kelly has filed suit against Michigan Blue Cross Blue Shield over the company's restructuring plan. Kelly says the plan is not acceptable and that the plan does not comply with the five-year-old law that requires the restructure of the Blues. Kelly has asked the Ingham County Circuit Court to order the Blues to revise the articles, bylaws, and restructuring plan. Company officials say that plan complies with both the letter and the spirit of the new law. Art Neal is in with sports. A lot of high school hoop going on? Yeah, Saturday night, big game between uh, Buena Vista and Nouvelle, won by the BB Knights. They rolled it up, but it was close for a while. Okay, stay tuned. Art Neal Sports coming up next. For the first time, we're going away for the holidays without the Quins. But when we get back, we'll give them our extra photos from Perry Drugs. See, Perry gives you photo freebies, free film, or a free second set of prints for the Quins. <laughs> it's the Quins. Huh. <laughs> and their luggage. Like I said, who needs a second set of free prints? I'll get the free film. <laughs> photo freebies, free prints, or free film. Only Perry gives you a choice. What's a vacation without the Quins? I don't know. Right now, something is going down at your Valley Chevrolet dealers. It's GMAC financing, and it's down to 7.9% on Chevrolet Cavaliers, Novas, or Southerner Celebrities, El Caminos, and selected pickup trucks. Let's run that down again. It's GMAC financing, and it's down to 7.9%. But it won't stay there for long. So hurry to your Valley Chevrolet leader and catch us with our financing down to 7.9%. Starting Thursday, December 26th at 10 a.m., prices will be marked down in every Highland store. Nothing will be left out during Highland's incredible year-end markdown sale. Like this Sylvania 25-inch color console, just $347, save $102. And buy six JVC tapes at $466 each, get one free. That's just $399 per tape. Come save 5 to 50% during Highland's year-end markdown sale. Now through Tuesday, December 31st. A few words about mounds. Ooh. Ah. Mm. But don't take our words for it. Mound. Ooh, ah, uh, mm, for yourself. <laughs> Sellout crowd at Arthur Hill tonight watching BV go at it with Nouvelle. The final, good game. The Knights come out a winner. That was not the final. The final was Buena Vista 80 and Nouvelle 65. Had they been playing football, that might have been close. All right. First half of the game, BV's Mark Macon ahead to Chris Coles. Back to Macon. BV by two at halftime. It was close. Third quarter, Eric Henderson starts getting hot for the Knights. BV by four. Henderson underneath now. Knights go up by half a dozen. Nouvelle's Corey Phillips will hit a jumper. He had 11. They're down four at 41-37. Mark Hammond, side jump. They're still down a double deuce. Eric Henderson getting real hot. 18-footer. The Knights got the running game going. Macon to Chris Coles. Coles let them all with 22. BV wins it 80 to 65. Elsewhere tonight, it was Flint Central, a winner over Birmingham Brother Rice. 73-43, Anthony Buford at 21 for the Indians. Whittemore Prescott, 64. Aranac Eastern, 48. Owen Gage, 51. All Gray, 43. Coleman, 45. All Saints, 38. And Breckenridge beat Standish. Final there was 73-67. U of M's hoop team, they're now 11-0. It was one of them non-sweating affairs again today, beating Illinois Chicago Powerhouse. First order, 85-54. to Roy Tarpley had 16. First half of the game, Uncle Glenn Rice hits a jumper. He had 14. They're up 25. The judge, Antoine Jobert on the all-alone. Guard Thompson coming around. A Stoico pick goes to Richard Relford on the reverse. U of M plays Cleveland State tomorrow. Elsewhere tonight, later on tonight, it will be Michigan State and New Mexico. That is the final of the Lobo Classic. Central beating Youngstown State today, 69-68. Dan Marley at 31. Irvin Levy at 19. And Houston turned back the U. 75-64.
AFC wildcard game today at the Chili Meadowlands in New Jersey. New England defeated the home team. Patriots 26, Jets 14. New England will travel to L.A. taking on the Raiders next week. Second quarter, the Jets, Ken O'Brien to Johnny Hector, 10 yarders, 7-3 New York. That was it for them. Patriots, Tony Eason up top, 36 yarders, Stanley Morgan, 13-7 Pates. But the one that really killed the Jets, third quarter on the kickoff, Johnny Hector takes it. He's up to the 10-yard line. He's hit by Johnny Rember. The ball is loose. The Jets don't know where it is. The Patriots, Johnny Rember does, goes in for D.D., making it 23-7. Patriots going to win it 26-14. College football today in Orlando, Florida. They played the Citrus Bowl, and Ohio State comes away with a win, beating Brigham Young 10-7, big Buckeye victory. Second quarter of this one, Buckeyes were leading 3-0 when BYU's Robbie Bosco rolled to his left, goes back across the field, throwing up one of them floaters right to David Miles. It's a good 38-yard touchdown. BYU led 7-3, but they kept turning the ball over. Bosco deep in his own end, back to throw. Larry Colick, what a game today. Picks it off, goes in for TD. That was a winning touchdown right there. Ohio State wins it. 10 to 7. Coming up, Jay, hockey, Saginaw Generals win, and high school hockey too. Okay, and it could, want, could cost you more to watch television. We'll tell you about that when we come back. <laughs> 37 celebrities, 32 caprices, 81 cavaliers, 81 Cavaliers, I'll get rid of them at nothing down, $129 a month. 33 Camaros, 11 Monte Carlos, 12 Novas, 75 Chevettes, 75 Chevettes, I'll move them starting at nothing down and $99 a month. 30 Vans and Blazers, 27 S10, and 56 full-size pickups, 56 pickups, I'll price pickups at nothing down and $149 a month. Come make me an offer, make my day. Hank Grant Chevrolet. Vince brings you the top names in winter games. Rossignol, Rafi, K2, Desant, Olin, Farah, Bogner, Dinastar, Lang. Vince will meet or beat any ski price in the state of Michigan. All the skis, all the clothing, all the accessories, all at the best prices in Michigan. It all comes together at Vince, the first name in winter games. Shop Vince Apple Mountain Ski Shop at Apple Mountain and Vince Sports in Midland. Looks good, Kenny. Thank you, Tim. Hi, I'm Tim Tinney, Engineering Director at St. Luke's Hospital in Saginaw. A lot of work goes into these roses, and we're proud of them. They're part of an attitude that makes St. Luke's an exceptional hospital. You see this spirit in everyone at St. Luke's, from groundkeepers to nurses to technicians. The way we take care of these roses is the way we take care of you, with compassion, dedication, and pride. That's what makes St. Luke's exceptional. Georgia Taylor's year-end sale offers you free financing and more. Don't miss your chance to get incredible discounts. Start the new year right with great-looking furniture for every room. And to make all the furniture you want even more affordable, your purchase will be interest-free till New Year's 87. Hurry, this great opportunity ends Monday night at 8. Shop weeknights till 8, Saturday and Sunday till 5. Georgia Taylor Furniture, Saginaw, Carroll, and in Bad Axe at 716 East Huron Avenue. Living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, they're all on sale through Monday. The video revolution has opened up a whole new world of home entertainment. Cable TV, home video recorders, and backyard satellite dishes have multiplied our viewing choices. But as entertainment reporter Kim Mariner reports, satellite dish owners will soon have to pay for some special programming. There are nearly one and a half million backyard satellite dishes in use in the U.S. Dish owners have been getting over a hundred channels for free. But beginning next month, some of those channels may start looking like this. Now, we made a decision four years ago to scramble our signal, and it's taken this long to make sure that we have a very secure system and one in which we can then utilize to provide our services to people. Home box office and Cinemax will be the first to scramble full-time, Showtime and the movie channel won't be far behind, and other services from MTV and CNN to ESPN have also announced plans to scramble. Satellite dish owners will be able to unscramble the signals, but they'll have to purchase a descrambler for just under $400, and they'll have to pay for the premium channels they want in order for the descrambler to work. It is a very sophisticated system. It operates through the satellite transmissions. And literally, the decoder box that our subscribers will purchase, um, unless it is accessed by the satellite signal, 
will not work. These Grambler boxes are in production and should be available at satellite dish sales offices and cable companies by the end of December. And you won't need a different box for each channel. Fortunately, everyone is adopting the same standard and so that one same device can access all of the various different programming. HBO doesn't expect its phones to ring off the hook right away with satellite dish owners wanting to pay for something they've been getting for free. In the coming months, uh, a good percentage of all of that which is up there will become scrambled. And then I think that the demand for these services will increase. And people that have dishes will subscribe to the services just like those that subscribe via cable. There may not be a rush to buy these scramblers until Congress addresses the issue the first of next year. At question is what dish owners will have to pay for premium channel service. The satellite industry wants to be dealt with fairly. There's also a question of whether there's a sufficient supply of these scrambler boxes available. HBO and Showtime have spent millions developing a sophisticated scrambling system, but stand to make tens of millions by selling subscriptions to those who up till now have been getting it for free. In Hollywood, I'm Kim Mariner. Stay with us. We'll take a look at storm track radar and the entire weather picture when we come back. Why did I choose the Pathways Inpatient Alcoholism Treatment Program? It gave me a change of environment for a short time. Just what I needed. I was out of the workplace, good for me and my employer, and away from the family long enough for the pressures to subside for all of us. Most of all, I chose the Pathways Inpatient Program because it works. Pathways, the Alcoholism Drug Treatment Center at Saginaw Community Hospital, a proven program since 1979. All hardware, 25% off at Wolf Files with selected items up to 50% off. Christmas trims and snowmobile clothing, 50% off. Helmets, knitwear, and all ammunition, 25% off. All guns, 30% off. Kerosene heaters, $49.99 and up. Dealer cost prices on last year's Yamaha snowmobiles, Yamaha three and four wheelers, Bolins, Wheelhorse, and Cub Cadet tractors. Savings on Toro, Bolins, and Snapper snowblowers. Save up to $100 on steel and McCulloch chainsaws. Sale ends December 31st at Wolf Files, 5818 State in Saginaw. Curtis Mathis is not having an after-Christmas sale. They are having a clearance sale that might help you decide what to do with that Christmas money. You know about the Curtis Mathis excellence. You've heard about their exclusive four-year warranty. Usually, we tell you that Curtis Mathis prices are a bit higher, but we're worth it. Now we're asking you to check into those prices during this limited-time clearance sale. Curtis Mathis, nothing in your home is quite like it. The location, Birch Run, in the heart of mid-Michigan. The place, Susky Chevy Buick. Hi, this is Andy Susky. We here at Susky Chevrolet Buick have decided to give the big boys of Flint and Saginaw a run for their money. I've decided to become one of the largest automotive sales and service centers in Michigan. A super selection, over 400 new and used cars and trucks, and I'll guarantee the lowest price. Look out, big guys. Here comes Susky with the biggest inventory clearance at guaranteed lowest prices through this Saturday. Last-minute shipments of road salt from Genesee County's Canadian supplier have assured the roads will be safe over the New Year's weekend. County road crews have been rationing supplies of salt, mixing loads with sand during the past few days of cold temperatures and slick roads. No one seems to know why replacement supplies weren't ordered earlier. The shortage has been blamed on a new road commission director who has no knowledge of past requirements and the county's limited storage capacity. Storage facilities can hold less than 6,000 tons of salt at a time. Genesee County normally uses about 30,000 tons of road salt during the winter season. And a good portion of that usually ends up in our cars. Let's turn to storm track radar out of Alpena. It shows some precipitation over the city and the eastern tip of the Upper Peninsula near Detour and Drummond Island and moving out to the east. Flint and Owasso had a high today of 17, an overnight low of 5. Tri-Cities with a high of 16, overnight low near 9. Relative humidity currently at 83%. Winds are out of the south at 20 miles per hour. And the barometer currently at 29.79 hundredths inches. Turning to the national map, a trough of low pressure to our west will keep a pattern of light snow showers over the Tri-City area tonight and early Sunday. Now that pattern will be off and on again and will accumulate very little snow through Sunday. Blowing and drifting will be the biggest problem we'll have to contend with. Nation's high recorded at, where else? Miami, Florida, 76 degrees the high. The overnight low at Hibbings, Minnesota, 12 degrees below zero. Turning to temperatures across the state, the Motor City currently at 9 degrees, 15 in Grand Rapids, 13 at Houghton Lake, Alpena 14, 16 at the Sioux, 
Battle Creek 12, Pelston 18, and Carper Harbor currently at 15 degrees. States high recorded in Muskegon with 24, the overnight low up at Marquette, 8 degrees below zero. Checking the temperatures in the immediate News 5 area, Midland and Bay City 13 degrees, Flint 11, Owasso 12, Saginaw at 14. And in the forecast, tonight mostly cloudy, windy and cold, an overnight low of 7 to 10 degrees, some blowing and drifting snow expected. Sunday, cloudy, windy, occasional flurries, blowing and drifting snow, a high of 24 to 27. Sunday night, cloudy skies, windy, occasional flurries, more blowing and drifting, the overnight low of 16. And Monday, believe it or not, some sunshine, a little bit windy, high of 27 to 30 degrees. Art Neal in with a late update on sports. Yeah, okay, Jay, we got a lot of hockey. Go right to it now tonight. Saginaw Generals with another big win. They are now only four points behind Muskegon. They lost tonight. Generals beat Toledo 8-2. to two. It was a former NHLer, the Toledo player coach Peter Mahovlich, going to Dave Falkenberg. Stopped by Rick Knickel, pretty safe. The Generals, Jeff Pyle, had two goals tonight. Would have had three, but Mario Pruel stops him right there. The Generals were looking for more in the third. Already up 7-2. to two. Greg Lineot, breakout pass to Chris Delabio. Coming in, save Pruel. Strong night for goalie Rick Knickel, however. Pat Mayer from the point through the traffic. Knickel make a save. Brian Noonan, the hat trick for the Generals. They win it 8-2. to two. In the Great Lakes Invitational, Joe Lewis tonight, RPI beat Michigan 8-3. to three. Tomorrow, RPI, may they rest in peace if they can beat them tomorrow. That'll be in the championship. And the Red Wings finally won a game. Snapped the nine-game losing streak. It was Detroit beating Quebec tonight. Wings 5. Quebec 4, high school hockey, take another look at it. It was right the first time. Bridgeport 6, Lake Fenton 2, first period of the game this afternoon at Verbeke. Bridgeport, Scott Berg finds Paul Rosa in front. There's the goal, and it's 1-0 Bearcats. They were far from being done. They have a power play here. Tom Bessonia, all kinds of room, making it 2-0 Bridgeport. John Loach now goes behind the net to Paul Rosa. The shot, rebound Rosa. He'll score to make it 3-0 Bridgeport. Second period now. Tom DeSonia works behind the net. He's coming around for the wraparound. Make it 5 nothing Bridgeport. Lake Fenton finally got on the board when Brett Smith found Scott Marshall on a pretty tally right there to make it 5-1, but it was all Bearcats picking up another. Kevin Houck will go in front to John Cross. Nice score there, and Bridgeport wins it 6-2. A couple of notes, Jay, while we have the time. MSH was leading New Mexico in the Hoop Classic out in uh, New Mexico, 39-31, and... We're talking about the All-American Bowl. MSU and Georgia Tech, New Year's Eve. Four players were suspended by Coach uh, Bill Curry of Tech because of curfew violations. One of them, starting quarterback John G. Berry, he won't play. Now, that takes a lot of guts to do that, but you talk about going into a contest without your guns being loaded. That's what will happen. State ought to romp them now. Starting quarterback will not be able to play. Okay, stay tuned. There's a new pinup calendar coming out. We'll tell you about that when we come back. Red Lobster asks, what's your favorite seafood? Mm, broiled shrimp, but I also love scallops. And of course, there's always lobster. If you have more than one favorite seafood, try Red Lobster's broiled fisherman's platter. Freshly broiled shrimp, scallops, devil crab, Boston bluefish, and Icelandic lobster. The broiled fisherman's platter. Five delicious favorites all together. There's never been a better time for seafood. Heard the news? The Dodge Boys are out to sell a million vehicles by December 31st. To help, we've got 8.6 financing. 8.6 on all these models. Now you got it. 8.6 or $500 cash back. 8.6 or $1,000 cash back. Dodge is already out selling Pontiac, Nissan, even Toyota. And now we're driving for a million. And that means more savings for you. Hurry, the drive for a million sales for a limited time only. Buying a new high-efficiency furnace? I hope it's an Ultra 97 gas furnace from Magic Chef because you'll be receiving a faster payback on your investment, and we know how important that is. Ultra 97 provides you one of the highest range of efficiencies available, and that translates into a shorter payback period, which means more heat at greater savings. Now, you can wait for years for a payback, but why when you can have an Ultra 97 by Magic Chef? Have one of these dealers install Ultra today and save for years to come. There's a jewelry 
sale too good to be kept in the dark. It's the Diamond Exchange Holiday Leftover Sale with store-wide savings up to 75% off on leftovers you've never before seen. You'll be dazzled with the Diamond Exchange's leftover diamond rings, men's diamonds, earrings, and diamond pendants. You'll be amazed at the Diamond Exchange's leftover rubies, sapphires, emeralds, and opals, pearls, and fine Italian gold chains. In fact, with store-wide savings of up to 75% off, the Diamond Exchange Holiday Leftover Sale will blow you away. The calendar season is now upon us, and everyone from Sports Illustrated to Snoopy wants you to mark time with their likenesses. But there's a new calendar for 1986 that's creating quite a stir. It may be the first presidential pinup in history. It's called the Ronnie Calendar, and it reminds repeatedly that our president had several lives before politics. In the beginning, he was a screen idol, and that led to selling anything from cigarettes to shirts, when he and Van Heusen made famous the slogan, Won't Wrinkle Ever. That shirt cost $3.95, and a pack of Chesterfields was a quarter then. The calendar costs $7.95, which shows many months have passed since Mr. Reagan was a Warner Brothers warrior. It's the creation of Neil Wolfson, who calls himself a freelance concept guy. Is this a pro-Reagan calendar or an anti-Reagan calendar? Uh, neither, neither. It's uh, merely a, an accurate reporting of things that he did in his career. And it's certainly not meant as a smear. Uh, it's satirical, but uh, I don't certainly mean to, for it to be a character assassination. Wolfson hesitates to pick a favorite picture, but since calendars have historically provided racy wall decoration, he leans toward the April entry, which won Reagan the title 20th Century Adonis in 1940. I think that has definite cheesecake value, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this calendar ends up as a pinup for women of all ages. The calendar is full of endearing quotations, like the one from Silver Screen magazine in 1950, when Reagan was asked what sort of roles he'd like to play. He said, I'd love to be a louse, you know, the kind of fellow who leers at dolls and gets leered back at, who treats women rough and makes them love it. Ronald Reagan is a man of infinite flexibility, a man who had multiple careers and who went on to attain the highest office in the nation, and it's kind of inspirational to me. This is Andy Barth reporting. We're out of time. Good night. Well, how you doing? Um, there's something I have to tell you about tonight's host, Nick Nolte. This summer, Nick and I had the opportunity to work together in a motion picture called 48 Hours. Uh, Nick and I grew together, and Nick taught me a lot about myself and a lot about acting, and he's a real great guy. You know, we were sitting around on Paramount's lot this summer, and I said to Nick, I said, Nick, why don't you come and host Saturday Night Live? And he said, yeah, it'd sure, anything for you. That's the kind of guy Nick was. Then, <laughs> when Nick got here, and got off the plane, he vomited on my shirt. <laughs> we realized Nick was too sick to do the show. And that's too bad, because Nick was going to be in some real great stuff tonight. But I know you people tune in to see one of the stars of 48 Hours host the show, and damn it, you're going to see it, because I'm going to host the show. Live from New York, it's the Eddie Murphy Show! We've seen on Escort and Lynx, but now we're slashing No it. more slash. Chop, chop. We're chopping it to... Hey, you, 6.9. Karate car dealer. Now you can buy a new Ford Escort or Mercury Lynx from Al Bennett and get 6.9% financing. 6.9% at all three Al Bennett locations, Flint, Davidson, and Grayling. Go ahead, try and hit me. Al Bennett is God's healing man. Ouch. That's right, it's good.